Hi, JJ here, and I wanted to make a quick review of this milk frother. Uh, this is the biggest one that I could find on Amazon. It's very nice quality. And it comes with this piece that becomes magnetic once we put them, and the only part that moves is this piece here. Okay, so if you're doing hot chocolate, you would just add this piece right here. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to work with coffee, okay? Uh, since I'm making coffee for three people, I'm going to use the whole can. Next, I'm going to add plenty of hazelnut creamer. There we go. And five spoons of sugar. You can add more or less sugar, depends on what you like, your preference. And then lastly, some cinnamon. Some people like to add this at the end. I'll add it both times. So let's talk quickly on what each of these settings are. Well, we're gonna turn it on. It's right here in the middle. And these three settings is for low, low froth, medium froth, and high froth. So it depends on how you like your coffee. And then on this side over here, we can manage if we want it to be cold, warm, hot or hotter so it depends on your preference I like it to be at 140 okay and uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this on as you can see it's very silent you can't even hear anything so I'm gonna open this up so you can see inside and we'll just let that turn for a while and it will stop automatically. So our coffee is ready and now we're ready to pour. Okay, so that's ready. Nice. So now I'll take out the piece. Now we'll take out the middle part here and we're ready to pour. And lastly, some cinnamon, and we're ready to serve. All right, so all I have to say is I absolutely love this milk frother, and it comes with the instructions and everything that you need, cleaner. Um, so I highly recommend it. I got it from Amazon. So, bon appetit.